What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this short video, I wanted to show you how to add a subdomain to your domain uh, through ClickFunnels and Cloudflare. So I'm going to assume that you've already gone through setting up your domain through Cloudflare. I do have a video on that. I'll put the link up above um, in the playlist. Uh, just click on the playlist and scroll down to the Cloudflare section. Uh, where I will show you how to, or where I showed you how to integrate your custom domain with ClickFunnels and Cloudflare uh, after buying the domain. So what a subdomain is, is it's the little word that appears before your domain. So for example, in 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 this, you know, in this here um, uh, URL, uh, <laughs> HTTPS, resolve.famous.clickfunnels.com, you could say that ClickFunnels is the, the URL, right? www.clickfunnels.com. But Resolve Famous is the subdomain, right? So another example of a subdomain is www. You could say www.clickfunnels.com. The www is a subdomain. Now, in the previous video, we've created a blog on ClickFunnels. So what you could do is you could make it a bit more informative to your customers, and you could say blog dot your domain dot com, right? It's a bit more informative. In addition, if if you are promoting some products, whether it's your own products or someone else's. <laughs> now, especially if you're promoting someone else's product and um, you can't you can't have their domain, right? So for example, you know, uh, super good cake, for example, dot com, right? That's the name of the brand, super good cake. You can't buy that domain. That would probably be against their terms of use. Um, <laughs> and you can get something similar, but it's just not the same. Most of the time, companies will allow you to use their name in the subdomain. So what you could do is you could make the subdomain supergoodcakes dot your domain, which is probably going to be you know similar to whatever the topic is like tasty or really tasty dot com, right? So adding a subdomain could be quite useful for you, could be quite helpful. So let me just show you how to do that right now. Um, so uh, we'll be playing with our uh, funnel blog here, okay, that we've done, and we'll add the subdomain block. So let's go into our settings here. So here I'm in my settings for fastestfunnelbuilder.site. Uh, it's a URL I had. I've set everything up here uh, with ClickMagic and with ClickFunnels already. Again, if you want to see that, check out my previous videos. But what I'm going to do here, all I'm going to do is click CNAME. I will add blog, and I will say target.clickfunnels.com, and I will add it. And I'm going to make sure it's orange. That's pretty much it, all right? So we're done for this part. That's why I said it's a short video. Now we need to go back here. Let's go to custom domains in ClickFunnels and let's add a new domain. And we're just going to say blog.fastestfunnelbuilder.site. Uh, so I already have fastestfunnelbuilder.site. I already have that as my domain. That's already good, but I want the subdomain blog. So I need to do this again. So you would input your root of URL. So if someone just types in fastestfunnelbuilder.site, where do you want them to show up? So it's a drop down. Just click on it. Select uh, which page you want them to go to. Same with error. You know, if the page for some reason doesn't work, if it's an invalid URL, they will be redirected to this page. You can uh, select which page you want them to go to. Let's say yes for SSL certificate, right? We want the page to be secure. And let's say create domain. And now that should be available there. So now all we have to do, now that we've added that, go back to our funnels, go to my blog, and we'll need to edit it here. So let's go to blog, funnel site, right? Let's name it, say, welcome one here. I'll save an update. We'll leave that there. You may need to go into publishing here as well. Um, over here, it's fine. It looks like it's taken care of, so that's fine. So let's go back here. And let's change the path here as well. So, you know, the other one was welcome one. This one I'll say welcome. So now, if we check it, there you go. Blog.fastestfunnelbuilder.site. All right. So something pretty cool. And again, if you take this, it's just a little more informative than www. Looks pretty cool too, right? Blog.fastestfunnelbuilder. And again, if you're, you know, companies, uh, they may allow you to use their company name in the subdomain. For example, ClickFunnels. You could say something like clickfunnels.fastestfunnelbuilder.site. That would be fine. Now, uh, ClickFunnels won't allow you to do it through their system because they don't want anyone using, um, you know, the word ClickFunnels. Uh, but it is allowed under their terms of use, and some companies may allow that as well. So even though they don't allow it in the system, it isn't against their terms of use. You are allowed to use ClickFunnels as a subdomain. Same with some other companies. They may or may not. So definitely double check. But it's definitely something that could boost your credibility, right? Because when people see, you know, 
the company name dot something 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 your domain dot com it's much more trustworthy right than just having a random domain that no one's ever heard of before so that's about it that's how you would add a subdomain if you guys have any questions comments concerns leave them down below um definitely check out the, the previous videos if you haven't just to set all this up together um if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have already subscribed thank you i do appreciate it thumbs up to you uh thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video